Hi, I'm Alice Cavanis Gober. Welcome to video two of uh, my Indiana Arts Commission Individual Artist Project Grant video series. Um, today I'm going to paint a little bit of color on this this painting. It's I've already got some texture on there. I'm not sure if you can see that from the video, but I've got some texture on there, and I'm just going to apply some basic swooshes of color. Uh, my vision for this painting, for my project that deals with hidden disabilities, is to sort of illustrate um, hidden disabilities that can cause dizziness, um, can cause kind of uh, migraines, um, any kind of uh, hearing issues, inner ear problems, hearing loss. Uh, sometimes those can be absolutely excruciating. I myself have uh, elements of what would commonly be called Meniere's disease, but mine uh, is probably caused more by a lifetime of antibiotic use. Um, antibiotics can basically eat holes in some of your body parts, like your inner ears, stomach lining, things like that. Um, and so I have a lot of holes in my inner ears that were not originally there, and when the fluid in your inner ears goes in the wrong places, it can cause anything from mild dizziness and nausea to absolutely excruciating um, pain that feels like just red hot pokers slicing into your skull. So, <laughs> fun times! <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be working on today. I'm On this particular one, I'm kind of hoping that some of the paint drips a little bit. So we'll see if I need to add water. We'll see how that goes. Typically, I like to start with kind of a medium color, and then I can work in some lights and darks on, on and around that. This is a gold kind of a color, so I wanted to encourage some elements of metallics in this because um, antibiotics can also cause you to taste metal all the time. Um, it's just kind of comes with the territory, I guess. I don't, I don't know why it, why they're so metallic tasting, but boy, they sure are. So um, I thought adding some metallic paint would give, give that impression of the metal taste that, that. Uh, I experience. Um, again, this painting is going to represent a lot of different kinds of um, hidden disabilities, uh, not necessarily related to antibiotic use, uh, but I do tend to put a little bit of my own experience in everything that I paint. So um, I'll try to explain some of those things as the project continues so that my wonderful viewers out there are understanding what goes into some of my work. Um, I don't know, I think art is therapeutic and it's also very personal to me, so it would be probably difficult and unusual for me to not personalize uh, my artwork. Um, I think commission work is sometimes the exception to that rule, but I don't know about the rest of the artists out there, but I think for myself, even when I do commission work, there's, there's some element of me in that piece, although I usually try to go with whatever the, the client wants. So I'm getting some drips. I'm kind of liking that. Um, I tend to paint in layers, too, so I might only do one or two colors today and then um, see how that goes and then come back with more, uh, more color on other days after it dries a little bit. And sometimes that means I've actually painted over everything I've done, and sometimes it means that I just have a lot of fresh paint going on. So now I'm going to move to a more uh, coppery colored metallic. Um, I think the flavor of copper is kind of uh, hard to describe, but I always feel like it's got a real 
definite taste uh, in terms of the medications that I take. Um, I also feel like the metallic paint is good for this painting because I'm stressing that element of the, the piercing pain that you get. That's, uh, you know, I always think of red hot pokers, and I think of pokers, of course, as being made out of some sort of metal. So that's, uh, that's kind of a, also part of why I wanted to use some metallics on this one. I don't normally paint with a lot of metallics, so this is definitely going to be one of my more experimental uh, paintings. We'll see how it goes. some of the others. Let's see what kind of an effect that gives us. It occurs to me that I should bring a, some music down here to my little art studio. Coming along as I go. get a lot of art inspiration from music, so that's a good idea. Bring a little CD player down here next time. paint smells pretty bad, so I'm closing it up. Oof. It's a challenge being a disabled artist is finding paint that doesn't make you sick. So I use acrylics. They, they tend to smell the least stinky uh, compared to oils. Um, so I've had pretty good luck with those. Okay, I've turned the painting so that some of the drips are going to go the other way uh, as, as the paint settles. Um, I think I like that idea. And then when I do the next layering of colors, I'll probably rotate it two more times. and get uh, So we'll have texture, which in this particular painting has a kind of swirly patterns. We'll have the texture being part of the dizziness. We'll have the paint, different colors going different directions in both swirls and drips, streaks. And then once I get all my color on there, um, I'm going to take texture again and do some sharp angled lines that I will then either paint. Uh, I was thinking, you know, the red hot poker. I was thinking of reds and oranges. Um, but sometimes I just end up with black and white because I like the, the contrast of the black and white on color. So we'll see how it turns out. Keep, keep, stay tuned. Stay tuned and we'll watch the progress of this one. Thanks. See you next time. Okay, well, I like the way uh, these initial metallic colors are working on the texture and the dripping. Um, I think that's a good start. Um, <clears throat> I would like to thank my friends William Harger and Michael Delk for donating these metallic paints to me uh, for my Indiana Arts Commission in Individual Artists uh, Project grant. Um, I'm really excited to work with these paints. I've never really worked with metallics before. I've got a few other colors in these metallics coming, so um, the end result of this painting will have a lot of uh, these kind of... Um, earthy uh, metallic colors. Uh, again, I'm trying to emphasize that metallic taste and, and just the harshness of metal in general as it relates to my, I keep coming back to that red hot poker um, phrase. So, can't really see any red hot pokers yet, but I promise you they'll be there. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in, and I will check in with you next time. Okay, bye.